Hey y'all, I'm gonna jump right into it. These are the pieces of wood that I used and what they're used for. So this is just a close up of each piece of wood. I drilled some pocket holes into the wood. This is so I can combine the wood properly, if that makes sense. I didn't really understand pocket holes. Um, I sort of got help with this. So if you get pocket holes, that's great. I just know that they allow you to put the pieces of wood together, like you'll see. So the first thing I did was sort of set up the table to see how it would look. This is the top that I'm setting up. This is a visual of where each piece goes, just in case that first little diagram was confusing. And this is how it looks. I wanted to do like a rough draft kind of thing before I started screwing things together. And you can see that wherever I did the pocket holes, I put a little arrow so I know which way the nail is supposed to go. Now this is us setting up the bottom. And that's how it would look. And this was like a rough draft. I think we ended up changing it up a tiny bit but this is like basically how it looks so now we're using wood glue to glue the top pieces together and we're gluing them together so when it's time to actually screw them together through the pocket holes it won't move around as much One tip I do have is if you see the wood glue spill out the way this one like sort of spilled out, just immediately wipe it because it's gonna help you later on when it's time to paint and sand. These are the screws that I use. They were two inch screws. And this is the point of the pocket holes. So now we're seeing how far up we want the support beam to go. No, that's the, ooh, what is that? Is that the apron, girl? So I'm screwing the apron to the side piece. Oh my God, I just had it. Is that the legs? That's gotta be, okay. So I am screwing the apron into the legs. Now, this is the apron for the bottom. Oh no, this is the border. Okay, my bad, I recorded this so long ago. Um, that was the border, and then that middle piece is the support beam. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oops. 
Now I'm screwing the bottom base of the table into the border. And I screwed it into the support beam for extra support. So now what you're gonna do is sand. We had bought these sanders at first. This took a long time using this little sanding block. Eventually we went back to the store and got a mechanical sander because it's just so much easier. Now we're screwing in one of the aprons to the legs. This is to support the top of the table. So now for this piece, this is the top border. We attempted to do it this way, but I think the screws were too short. So you're gonna see later on in the video, we did it from the outside instead. So we did not use this pocket. It seems like I'm screwing it in now, but it didn't stay. Now this is what we did right here. We drilled a hole through the leg that also went through the border. And then after that, we screwed a nail in there. This is how it looks so far. And now it's time to stain. So now this is us screwing on the last border. And this is the thing I was talking about before, when you don't wipe the glue immediately, it's gonna leave these little spots that are so hard to come off. The thing that we did was we just sanded it off with the sander that we bought. And the sander got it off pretty good. I was also using the sander to make sure all the wood was leveled with each other. So now we're seeing where we need to place the actual nail in order to screw the top of the table into the legs. and we pre-drilled a hole and then went back in with a screw. So now after sanding it, we're going back in with another layer of stain. And this is the final result. We left it like this to where like you can see the wood grain and whatnot because she kind of wanted that like rusted look and it came out pretty nice. 